Hello, this is Jason, and we are just getting to SeaWorld, San Antonio, and we have a long day of walking ahead. You guys ready? Jason's uh, shopping some orcas for his private collection. <laughs> I heard they have the best orcas here. <laughs> Uh, I haven't been to a SeaWorld since I was a kid. So this will be cool. So I'll just be taking a bunch of clips. Show you some stuff. Maybe if there's some cool shows, show you a little bit more than a clip. But give you a little uh, overview of what SeaWorld San Antonio is like these days. And today is... Saturday, October 26th, 2024. It looks pretty cool. It's going to be a pretty hot day. It's only 79 degrees right now, but it's supposed to get up to around 89, 90. And it feels hot. I do got some sunblock on, but shoulders are, are exposed. <laughs> All right, we're going to see the uh, Sea Lion Show. We have? Yes. You share sea Lion facts Show. about sea lions, and you have fun doing it. And we talked about the importance of protecting our coastlines for our future generations. And we have been able to share with you how we can form special relationships don't know where with we're the animals going. in our care. But there is one very important thing we haven't done. Splash zone. What's that? Trying to get in a splash zone. We can all throw her there. Sitting outside of it. a little otter. Thank you guys so much. We hope you enjoyed the presentation. Have a great day here at Zero. Bye, everybody. Bye. Yay. We know that was the show. That was a great show. I think that was enough for the Sea Lion show. To get an idea, you know. So we figured all the ride it was starting. <laughs> yes. I thought that was a great show. <laughs> all right. 
Here is the roller coaster I went on. I was not allowed to take my cameras on there. And I'm glad they didn't let me because I can't strap them to my hands. I didn't bring a lanyard or whatever. But it was pretty uh, exciting. You get whipped around pretty good on this thing. And it didn't have like the shoulder harness. It just had like a seat belt and a little lap thing to pull down. So I was getting thrown up into that thing pretty hard. Actually hurt the top of my thighs. It was pretty rough, but it was fun. It was scary. It's been years since I've been on a roller coaster. Pretty scary. <laughs> it was fun. I'd say thrilling. Very thrilling. Here they go. <laughs> but it was fun. And we went and uh, tried to catch the sea lion show and caught like the last five minutes of it. Which I think is an adequate amount of time to watch sea lions jump in and out of the water and flap their little flippers. I mean, do you really want to watch that for like a half hour? Five, ten minutes? You're good. You get the idea. <laughs> All right, we'll pick you up later. Here's another shot of that roller coaster I went on. It's got some pretty good ups and downs. And this is a splash zone for this water ride. I guess we're going to go on this. We're probably going to get wet. That's going to be fun. I don't know if I want to do it. This has become my favorite job roll at the SeaWorld experience here in San Antonio. It is the garter of bags while they go on the rides. It's my favorite job. After that first one, whatever it was, I'm happy to volunteer. I can't, I can't, keep, uh, I can't keep up on all the roller coasters anymore. I'm getting old. And that one was intense. <laughs> I think I got my fill. Oh, so I'm chilling. So it's getting hot too. What is it? It is 90. No, it's 85 right now. It'll be a high of 90. It's not 90 yet. But it's hot enough to seek shade and hide from the wretched ball of fire in the sky. All right. I'll up you, update you on future adventures. Oh boy.
you'll see the killer whales moving together in unison. These synchronized behaviors strengthen their social bonds and allow them to problem solve as a group. This is just another reason why they are known as the ocean's top predator. Their scientific name is Orsinus orca, and their common name is the killer whale. And these five whales have their own personal names. Our three females are Takara, Sakari, and Kamea. And joining us right out in front are our two males, Tuar and Kayukit. Kamea is our youngest whale at just 10 years old. And Takara is our oldest whale at 33 years old. Takara is also the matriarch of this pod, which means she's the leader. These whales trust us and they take an active role in their own health and well-being. Through the use of positive reinforcement training techniques, we teach them husbandry or health care behaviors. Trainers Danny and Carrie are joining us in the slide outs now to help demonstrate one of these behaviors. One of the first husbandry behaviors we teach these whales is called a fluke present, in which the whale presents their tail flukes to the trainer. As you can see, two are demonstrating now. You'll notice that from this position, we can get an excellent view of the whale's entire body, and we're also able to access the easy to see shallow veins in the white undersides of their tail flukes. Our veterinarians can collect a blood sample from these veins at least once a month, and the whales are conditioned to remain calm throughout the entire procedure. In today's presentation, you may also notice the trainers giving the whales a tail massage, a back rub, or even a pectoral flipper massage. These whales have very sensitive skin, and this is an excellent way for us to continue to build our relationship with them. But collecting blood is just one way we ensure the health of these amazing animals. Another important diagnostic tool is how much each animal weighs. We weigh them once a week, and to get an accurate weight, we will ask the whales to slide their entire body up onto a killer whale-sized scale in one of the adjacent back pools. You'll notice, as Kite as Tuar is demonstrating this, that a portion of his body from that dorsal fin all the way down to his tail flukes is still in the water. This part of his body is called the peduncle, and it contains some very large muscles. These muscles can weigh several hundred pounds. So to get an accurate weight, we will ask the whales to lift their heads and tails up and out of the water. And this is how we know that as of Tuesday morning, Cayuga is weighing in at over 9,800 pounds. Wow. It is important to weigh all of our whales regularly to ensure that the younger whales, like Kamea and Sakari, are growing appropriately. And the adult whales, like Kayukit and Tuar, are maintaining a healthy weight. Our husbandry behaviors help to ensure these animals are healthy and thriving. And the care isn't just physical. Mental stimulation and play are vital, and we surprise and engage with our whales every opportunity. Yeah. Play is how killer whales teach their young to hunt. And for the adults, play is important too. It seems that they just enjoy having fun. Making time for play is an important part of life for killer whales and for us. Observational learning and mimicry play a critical role in the life and development of a killer whale. From the moment they are born, they learn necessary life skills by playing follow the leader with their mother and other members of the pod. Here at SeaWorld, they'll even play follow the leader with all of us. So we're gonna try and play a game and put that to the test today. Everyone, if you can wave your left hand up high in the air and give Terkayukit and Tuar a big wave hello. Look at that, they saw you and they're paying very close attention to you. Killer whales have amazing eyesight, both above and below the water, and they're very curious animals. We often see them spy hopping or jumping completely out of the water to get a better view of their surroundings. Now Tuar is taking off to show off just that behavior, and this is Tuar. Isn't that incredible? Now let's talk a little bit about how killer whales communicate. 
killer whales can communicate in a variety of ways, and the use of vocalizations is just one. So again, we're gonna play that game. Go ahead and put two fingers out in front and wave them back and forth like you're conducting an orchestra. Wasn't that beautiful? Didn't you know that scientists also believe when a killer whale leaps out of the water, it may be a way of communicating and making their presence known? That's because sound waves travel four and a half times faster through water than they do through air. So when a killer whale leaps out of the water and comes crashing back down, that's called a breach, and that sound can be heard for miles.
cool wolf dolphins. I've never seen those kind of dolphins before either. Cool show. So this wraps it up at SeaWorld in San Antonio. Had a fun day, a lot of walking, probably about 10 miles walking. It is uh, 5.30. We got here at around 11.15 or so, 11.30. So I rode a few rides. Pretty exciting. I didn't ride any of the water rides, just watched some shows, animals did some tricks. Pretty cool. Well, I haven't been to SeaWorld for probably 20 years, so might be another 20 years till I'm at a SeaWorld again. <laughs> but it was fun. So that's all I got for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Take it easy.